Hello and welcome to Mobility Resort Motegi, as it is now known, formerly known as Twin Ring Motegi. Uh, we are in the Gen 4 for an exhibition race here for the Diet Dr. Pepper series. We've uh, got our post-season race here in Japan, racing the Motegi Oval, just as they did in NASCAR's past. Uh, that was in the... Uh, that was before... 2003, which is the season we were uh, based off of this season, but still a fun place to visit as a fun uh, wrap-up to the season. I uh, did not get as much practice as I would have liked um, heading in here, but super fun track, and uh, we've even got the oval refresh going on uh, now, because we are post-update as we're running right now, and we'll see how that affects the track. This could be a place where suddenly a lane higher is where you want to be. Could make things okay. very interesting. Just going to try not to blow it during qualifying here. Trying to keep it real close. The white line down at the bottom here. This corner goes on forever. Try to keep down low there. Then we're gonna drive in real hard into three. Again, trying to keep it down on that white line. And it really likes to step out on you on the exit here. That was not a great corner. Three and four, unfortunately. That was a little bit slower, but we'll see what we can do with lap number two. I think we can up the pace a little bit. Almost feels like we got some more speed here. Maybe uh, tires up the temp a little bit better. Here we do a wider arc in three and four this time. Yeah, that was better. Then get on the gas. No, you idiot. Yeah, this is what I get for not practicing more. Oh, that was going to be a really good lap. That was going to be about a tenth faster than the optimal was, so we would have been in the 34s and probably on pole, unless uh, someone gets a better time now. That sucks, two but minutes to go, two minutes. we still got a good time in it, looks like. And, uh, like I said, <laughs> that's what I get for uh, not practicing. I practiced, like, half of the, te the 20 minutes leading up to this, just because I've got, I've had some other stuff going uh, on. Yeah. Um... But this is what we got going on now, so I'm going to have to focus up. A couple people still qualifying, I think. Chuck could very well knock us back another spot. He has not yet put a lap in. Did he spin it, maybe? On one of his attempts and running out there again? I know I don't see it. Maybe he's not qualifying. Not sure. But I'll definitely take a P4, especially because uh, it's going to be all about long run pace in the actual event here. Uh, we've got a long one coming up. You can see here it'll be 100 laps. And uh, we're going to need to pit. So we'll come up with our, our pit strategy here in a minute. Because we're not going to be able to make it all 100 on one tank of gas. So another thing I did not do was practice a pit in, so I'm probably going to suffer because of that as well. In fact, uh, I'm going to take a look right here at the pit entry. You can see it kind of sneaks up on you there. you got to keep near the bottom. And uh, it's not the hardest one in the world, but you got to make sure you can turn down over there. you got to get it slowed down. And uh, I couldn't even do that for the outside wall there, so... <laughs> Everyone... Praising Gavin because he's got the pole right now. With an excellent lap. That's the end of the session. P4. I bet he didn't blow the corner in turn four in the second lap. Yeah, Check yeah, got you. So we are gonna warm up here. I will let you go, and then we'll come back right when it's time to grid. All right, we are back, and we are gridded up. P4 did some practice for uh, pit-in. 
And I uh, got that under my belt, that experience. Looks like I got that under control, I hope. <laughs> and um, looking here, we've got an estimated 42, 43 laps of fuel. Uh, we're not going to try to save that. Big track, so seven laps saved is a lot of time and a lot of fuel to save. So we're going to divide this 33, 66, and then to the end. That is the plan. So, assuming that it'll go green, which this uh, series tends to do a lot of, we'll uh, aim for that, see what happens. Follow car number 71 in the inside column. We are getting going. Gonna have to really try to be patient Once with my go, throttle five, inputs. On the outside, be patient getting clear. on to the throttle. Not to uh, spin up the rear tires and everything. Come on, shift. Thank you. Sure, what is going on there? That's what I get for half paying attention to shifting. I have to full pay attention to it, I guess. But uh, this could potentially be some tire spin on the restart here, or on the initial start. Um, seems okay, maybe. Got to be careful once you get higher up the revs, though. It'll uh, tend to start getting wily on you. One small thing that got uh, updated with these cars are the contingencies and the tires fitting Cup Series instead of Arca, which is pretty neat. Uh, we'd better be ready for Gavin to go soon, though. He waited a little longer, actually. A little bit surprising. Not going to dive it in on Warren there. Don't want to surprise him and get to his inside and cause a wreck in the lap one turn one. That would be pretty bad. Long way to go, so we're just going to be patient. And a successful first lap. Love to see it. So long it feels like you're going around turn one there. It takes forever to get around it. Right on his bumper. I don't really want to make a move yet, though. The a good run off. Make sure that we're braking in time here. Don't want to run in the back of him. So far, so good with P4. Everyone around us running pretty smoothly. Starting to get a little bit of a gap to fifth place. Making it real gentle into three. I think that's a big place you can save some tire. Ooh, Gavin may be almost into the wall there. Looked like he went out pretty wide. He gets a better run off. Just trying to see if I could sneak below him. We're just taking it easy right now, not doing anything crazy. Long race, very long race. 
That lap time was 55.7. Started uh, easing up on my turning a little bit early there. Probably wanted to keep close to the bottom a little longer. We'll see if the uh, bottom lane starts uh, wearing out a little bit with the new oval refresh. That could be a thing we start seeing. There's a much better exit to two that time. Jeremy right behind us. Haven't seen too much of him lately, so good to see him. The lap time was at 55.7. I think he joined a couple of the uh, Diet Dr. Pepper series races during the season. He made the trip to Japan with us. <laughs> now he's in my rear view mirror. One holding steady right now. Ooh, Shane going for a move. Did not see that coming. He kind of poked his nose out there at the last second for the overtake. Looks like they're having some fun side-by-side -side racing. Maybe that'll bring them back to us a little. You've just done a 35.8. The cup times are pretty consistent. So Shane in the lead now, he has made the pass. Not quite able to get there. I'll hold us off. I could have just drove it in, but I did not get the call for a car uh, outside, so didn't want to risk that. So we'll keep working on them a little bit. We got Jeff Gordon behind us, I just noticed. Jeremy's got the Jeff Gordon scheme. Looks like it's era appropriate as well. That's fun. Is that enough of a run? No. Got lap car way up high, letting us through. Cool them, thank you. I'll catch him at maybe a bad spot. No, we already got by him. Okay. I never heard car outside, so I didn't know we actually got past them already. Still working on just being good to the tires. We're not even halfway through our first run yet. So that's why I'm not in any hurry. Ooh. 
a little bit too high right there. I want to be lower than that, I think, through that corner. Let's continue just being smooth. I think uh, better tires later could really pay off for us, so we'll be uh, patient with it. Almost drifted up too high there. It's that uh, extremely long corner getting me again. I did not test shifting. Maybe I should have. That seems like a, a pretty crazy idea to me in this car with it already getting loose on throttle so much. Well, who knows, maybe that's what you gotta do. Sometimes in 3 and 4 here, shifting becomes a thing. Everyone kind of keeping that equal distance for now. I'm slowing down a whole lot. Not going to be able to get alongside him though. Maybe that's the tires coming in. Maybe that's uh, us getting that extra grip here on entry. I'm going to keep letting that help us out. Well, that was at 36.3. Ooh, Warren there drifting up a little bit off the bottom. Doesn't lose them too much time though. Ooh, got loose on exit there. Probably pushed a little harder than I needed to. Gavin yeah, going for the lead. You've just done a 36.3. Car outside. Okay, Colton. Keep low. Pretty consistent. You were bunching up a little bit too much there for me to not go for that. He was kind of running that middle or second lane. Keep right. Still there, hold your line. Outside is clear. Yeah, a heck of a run on Shane, too. Jane's losing right front, I think. Not quite there, but maybe he'll give it to outside. us. Not quite. Clear outside if you want to. Thought Warren was gonna hit us for a second there. Definitely slower since we couldn't take our optimal line. That was at thirty six point six. On the gas again, too too, too quick. Chain gets real tight. Car out inside. That was the next car. Still there. Hold your line. Still there. Hold your line. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Clear outside if you want it. All right, we'll get him. Now we are P2. Gavin in front of us. We're going to have about 10 laps until it's time for pit stops. At least where I'm playing in the pit. Outside. Clear high. Okay, Colton. You 
got half your fuel left. Nice and smooth, you're running second. Definitely getting tighter. Tougher to keep it low through the corners, but that's where I want to be. Such huge braking zones into three and four. Really got to get on that brake pedal, which is wild for an inter intermediate track, but part of what makes this place so cool. Almost like Nashville Super Speedway in a way. You've just done that. Warren has passed Shane. Whoa! Almost got into him. Keep low. Clear outside. Car outside. To his inside here. Keep low. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Got to get a run out there. It doesn't look like it. Still there. Clear outside if you want to. Car outside. Keep low. Clear outside. And suddenly we've got clean track in front of us. All right. I forgot I muted them forever ago. Oops. Uh, I've always told you I'm going to on the YouTube channel that I'm terrible at short track. Hopefully no one was talking to me. Overdrove it, overdrove it, overdrove it. The car inside. Still there. The car feels ten times tighter okay, than the right. front for some reason. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. Clear. Well, we're gonna find the out if the second inside. lane's gonna be worth anything. Still there, hold your line. Still there at the bottom. Ugh. Clear inside. Yellow flag is oh out. my gosh, we just got a yellow. Pit road is closed right now. Okay. No idea what, what happened. And I was almost to the end of the fuel run. Well, I was about midway of the fuel run, or a little bit past it. That was fun. Pace car is out. I wanted Line to see how it was going to turn out. The pace car. We're under caution. Well, guys in it. Looks like Chad is in it, unfortunately. Catch up, 71. Car. I just realized I had everybody muted by accident this whole time. Sorry if I ignored anybody by accident. <laughs> I was just saying how tight it was when you get the lead. It's like ten times tighter than running in traffic. Yeah, I experienced that. Uh, huge braking zone into three. It's crazy how much you gotta slow it down. Yeah, I'm cramming on the brakes going into three. I remember a time where this long into a run, I went on the way off. Pete Road is now open. So can someone tell me why the fuck I just got uh, dumped out of, um, like dumped on the pace lap? Just completely driven through at 110 miles per hour. Oh, that doesn't sound very good. They did veered right and I got on the brakes, but I guess they didn't check up. speed limit is 50 miles per hour. The lead is pitting now. Anyways, what I was saying is I remember a time when I, uh, Alright, we'll well, let's see if we can get a good pit stop here. Pit box team, 10. 5. You just surprised me. Three, just veered two, right and one, got on the brakes. Right here. Too far back. Man, you smell. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. 72 or 79. Alright, that's enough. Mistakes happen. A comment, Ian, whoever it was, Thomas. That's it, go! Oh, hey! Look where we are. Did not expect that after, be, after stopping too far back. 
Yeah, I was, I mean, it was my fault. Yeah, I mean, you were 80, 82 out to the outside, and then you made that a quick 74, 83. Me, because you almost hit the dude in front of you. Yeah, you're on off We don't know if he can hear you or not. My poor right front was 65. We'll share our 72, Ouch. 79. <laughs> Slow down to yeah, the corner. I think I'm gonna take it a little easier this round. <laughs> yeah, let me catch the pace car. Yeah, I slid into my pit box a little bit and slid a little too far and just completely screwed that up. Lost a bunch of two spots. So we somehow yeah, get out of the pits. When that happened. First. I do it all the time too. I don't think we really even need well, to save fuel, we'll do we? Well, when do we want to pit? Let's let's examine this. Well, we'll see. It's a long way to go still. Maybe we just want to pit at the normal time again, because we're basically Never. getting started right whenever we would have been pitting anyway. Oh, uh, for some reason I can't... Hey, Billy, sorry about that bump at the start, by the way. Just keep it Radio. simple. Maybe we just aim for 66. I mean, I see it, but it's just got like an X roll. The so, the 57 car has an entire mile wide track to avoid me as we're all stopped and he just drills straight into me. Go home. Going around high. Chad, what are you talking about, bro? You're the biggest troll I've ever encountered on iRacing. You ruined an entire late model stock league, dude, for five races straight. It's our open. Yeah, and that little red X That's weird. Um, if you click on the red X, <laughs> have a it'll, nice, it'll happy season. <laughs> Every, for the most part, sure. the season's been great, yeah. and now we got people complaining and blaming people for things. If you click on drivers with the headset, that's what it is. Click on drivers with the headset. Let's move on, please. See on the black box transmitting. Yeah, at least you got the ability to, to mute people on chat. Yeah, one it's grayed out, but by. gray in a line for it. I mean, I see you over the left hand side, but I'm not really sure. When I go scan through the radio, I cannot scan. It just uh, won't. Rear event guy, Colton in the lead. Oh, no. Are you in? Is he in? That doesn't happen. They shall do all over again. Fonty tipped in. He got you. Mark is gone, bro. Yeah, he's dead. That got weird. Well, we're going to start in the lead here. I'm going to try to be better to my tires. I don't think I did a very good job that run. Um, I felt like I was I don't doing. I what he was complaining about Billy for. A little bit later, but. Hey, when the host tells you to drop him, you should probably drop him. Don't him. Yeah, I think I gave him plenty of leeway for that. But uh, that's not a good first impression. About to go green. Yeah. Stay focused. All right. We'll get restarted here. I've had issues with him for a while. He, 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 he. Post car is off. Time to do your job. Green, green flag. Green flag. All right. Get a good yeah, job. We'll be back. Go ahead and pass me high, Chad. Couldn't have asked for a much better uh, jump. We got, had a lot of room behind us. So now we can kind of take it easier, I think, and that's great. Great news. I'm going to really focus on keeping it low, like I wanted to do the first run. Go ahead, Chuck. And uh, enjoy the second lead we've got. Almost a second. That last lap was at 36.4. I get some rotation through one and two. I feel like I've got the practice now that I didn't have before, before I was kind of entering learning still a little bit. I feel like that after that first round I kind of got the idea a little bit more. 
Hopefully that'll translate into some even better results. Kinda helps to like kick at the throttle up to get some rotation, it feels like. That was a pretty good corner. My headset has indicated that it is starting to die. Hopefully it makes it go the right. Alright, so plan is lap 66. Try to turn the steering wheel a little bit less. I felt like I could have done a better job of turning the steering wheel less that first run. Unfortunately, it looks like a handful of guys had issues there. I don't know what it sounded like. Maybe Ian uh, wasn't expecting a checkup as the field caught one another, and maybe accidentally got into the guy, and the guy uh, I guess got really mad about it. And would not let it go. So I guess we'll see that later. Like a pretty big bummer situation for everybody involved. I needed to start doing the throttle kicking <laughs> a little bit more, I think. I think it really does help. I feel like I'm getting rotation without uh, as much of the right front abuse. Because if you're getting turn on throttle, probably not so bad getting on the right rear. Using a tiny bit of break into turn one. Man, why is everyone acting up? <laughs> I feel like we took a little bit of a break and now everybody's gotten back used to official racing, baby. <laughs> Getting into some bad habits. Sounds like we got some blocking going on. Of course, we had some a little bit of that in the regular season as well. I don't think I would ever block unless it was like the last lap of the race or something. And even then, I would probably not choose that as my first option. Like maybe a short track if it looks like they're going to dive in on me and they don't have the nose, maybe. And they don't like have a huge run. Maybe I kind of run a lane lower. Maybe on like a restart. If somebody's trying to jump the start on me, maybe I kind of fight back on that with some blocking. But otherwise, blocking's not really in my toolbox as something I use, and it probably hurts me. I probably would do better in certain situations without it, but at the same time, I'm not getting dumped because the guy's mad I'm blocking, so I'm avoiding some issues like that, presumably. That's kind of where I stand on that. Something about, like, blocking when it's done to me, that's got to be one of the most infuriating things on iRacing, man. When you go to, like, you get a huge run and you're, like, just ready to go to the outside and they just start blocking you down to the apron. I don't know what it is about it, but that's probably yeah, one of those infuriating things, man. In this is interesting. This is very interesting. I did not want to see that at all. You cannot make it on fuel. You come get tires. Do I trust that the, the race is going to go clean? I feel like I have to trust that the race is going to be clean. It was only a 12 lap run though. 
I really don't Baker. understand why you've been blocking for so long, Ronald, and then in the middle of three you stop and leave me nowhere to go. You should have let me go at the outset of the green and we wouldn't have this yellow. Pace car on backstretch. Let them know since they apparently had an issue earlier. I hope that wasn't an intentional wreck, it sounds like. That would he's saying that wouldn't have happened. If so and so so and so. Kinda open. sounds like something happened intentionally. Hopefully not. This has been s we're getting some new people here. It's bizarre, it's not really what I'm used to All hearing. Right. That's enough complaining over the radio, I understand. I'm going to take a look at this race after the fact, and I'll take care of it. We love, love you, you, Gavin. Gavin. <laughs> uh, I think maybe the doctor, Diet Dr. Pepper went so flat after the end of the last season. <laughs> it's getting like, it's kind of weird in here. Doesn't take the holiday season. Everybody's crazy anyway. <laughs> so I didn't pit, and neither did the people behind us. So I guess we're good. Wait, was it open that lap? I don't even know. The plan was not to pit, so... We'll pit lap... 66 still, I guess. Might be looking for an undercut. Maybe push it back to like 68. Is Chad back on the lead lap? Man, I love this track. It's so much fun. Yeah, I'm terrible here, but I love this. It's definitely a fun track, but it's super easy to kill your tires. Oh, I can't type and drive at the same time. I just can't wrap my head around three and four for some reason. Stand the brake. Oh my god, this is. How do people do this? I guess that doesn't help my keyboard's way out of the it's way. No problem. Bottle control and knowing how to get your car to slow down on the limit. I promise I'm not this bad at typing. We're under caution. It's closed. <laughs> It's probably really it obvious. Don't help so much speed down the back stretch. <laughs> no, it really doesn't. Well, we should have put some more gearing in. You run out. It barely, like it. It really just depends on how good of a run you get off of. Two. It feels like uh, we're still not quite yeah, we're burning it up. Gear every lap. I will once in a while, but. I'm trying to lift a little early anyway, save some tire. But here, here's your uh, thing. Chad's got some serious standards, here. it sounds like. You That's unfortunate. Up, having such low RPMs, you would absolutely have to shift to third. And three By the way, the, uh, uh, I've been participating in that Drive Smart sponsored event. And uh, they're doing the draft right now. I don't expect to be picked, but I am kind of keeping an eye on it. I made it through their initial round where... I guess I should explain what it is. It was a sponsored event hosted by Justin Yi, Arca Farmer Extraordinaire, and uh, <laughs> he. Uh, it's an event where you, the first two, you did. They did a time attack. I'm really bad at explaining things, aren't I? They did a time attack in the t top 200 times, made it to the next round after round one there, and uh, I succeeded in that. And then they did some recruitment races, is what they called them. And then uh, there's six judges. And uh, each of them is going to pick six drivers from different I rating classes based on how we did in the recru recruitment races. And uh, I did average. I didn't record those because uh, there's some cash prizes on the line for the people that go all the way in this. So I was taking it pretty seriously. And I didn't want to distract myself and wreck somebody, even though I was kind of just doing it for the fun of it. I didn't really expect to stand out enough to uh, really be in any of the conversations or anything, but hopefully have some highly competitive races, and they were. There were some good races. We raced at Nashville Super Speedway. I led some laps in front of a Coke driver there before my tires died. That was kind of neat. And uh, we did some uh, Iowa, which was cool. 
and uh, um, we did some, uh, what was the other one I participated in? I couldn't do all of them because of work, but then there was a uh, another one at, what was the other one that we did? I don't remember. I'm sorry. I got to focus on this restart now. <laughs> About to go green. Stay focused. <laughs> I'm going to continue going early if I'm going to get these good jumps. That's not kind of like unwritten rule, uncool. I don't think it is, it's just kind of how we've been doing it all season. No restart zones or anything, just as there never is on the Gen 4 and everything, but... I actually chipped out there for a second. That was kind of interesting. I don't think I've been that fast on the backstretch yet. Got a second advantage. That's cool. We're quickest at the moment. Your lap time was quickest at the moment. I like to hear that. Just wondering how the tires were going to react to uh, starting off a bit more worn there, but we're okay. I feel the gear's really good on the restart, which is awesome. Shout out to Tom, Thomas Lewandowski. Um, I've said this a couple times, but I am thankful. Pointed out in one of my videos in a comment, he's like, really should switch over away from auto blip or whatever I had. I'm like, you know what? I've been meaning to do that forever. I've just been scared of the learning process and messing up my shifts and causing problems out on the racetrack, and so that's why I didn't learn it for so long. But Actually giving it a try it wasn't too hard to learn, and uh, it helps so, so much on restarts. It's unbelievable. I was, like, convincing myself in the past, well, you know, I, even if I'm a little slower, I'm giving myself a little bit of room from guys, you know, it's okay, it's okay, but nah. <laughs> it's very, very helpful. Oh, the police are outside. <laughs> oh, we got a friggin' chase going on. I wonder if that's being picked up on the mic. Sorry, got the window open, it's hot. In here. Car feels great, by the way. Um, having not had to battle at all or pass or um, anything like that for uh, the start of that last run and then this run so far has really allowed me to focus on hitting my marks and not worry about what other guys are doing. And that's really helped, I think, keeping my car happy and balanced. It's disappointing, uh, Tracy's not here, I noticed. Always really fun racing Tracy, he's always super fast. I bet he probably would be in the lead right now, <laughs> if he were here. I think, uh, good lord, it's the apocalypse outside. Got the ambulances and fire engines. I hope my apartment's not on fire. <laughs> That'd be a heck of a way to find out. Do I leave the rig if the apartment's on fire, or do I just keep going? <laughs> Maybe I can outrun it if I run fast enough laps. Um... I think the only reason I won the championship here in the Diet Dr. Pepper series is A, by running all the races, which is obviously huge in a format like this, and then, you know, B, um, avoiding the DNFs as much as I could. I think if Tracy, I think Tracy missed a couple races, if he had made every race, I think he definitely would have had a really good shot at the championship. But I'm pretty sure he missed a couple and maybe had some technical issues or something in some of them. Which happens. Okay, we're halfway to the finish. Officially over halfway. You've just done a 35.9. Overdrove a couple of laps there, I think, so let's back it down a wee bit. Starting to get a little tighter. Got Warren back there at 1.1. He's having an excellent run, by the way. He doesn't give himself enough credit because he qualifies up front in plenty of races. And uh, he's usually really good on the long runs. And he's catching me right now. He's one of the dark horses that could definitely win a race. And uh, maybe it'll be this one. 
if I uh, fall off too bad right here. Coming up on 13 laps until when I plan to pit, or 13 or 14. I still want it to be pretty close to 66, I think. Maybe a little bit after. But he's got it down to a second. I think he's still moving toward us. Caution, yellow flag. There's another fuel. yellow. We definitely got to pit this time. I don't know if we can make it on fuel. I think we can. Surprising how many cautions we've had. I forgot I needed that again. Just talking about the drive smart thing. Muted it. Pace cars out. Line up single file behind the pace car for under caution. It's closed. Hey. So catching up to the pace car. Still coming out. Catch the pace car. Pace car exiting too. Let the pace car by. Again, just gonna go ahead and do that. So everybody knows. I'm going to do third gear. I think I can more consistently hold on to uh, my pit speed and have a good stop if I do that. So we're going to get a full tank of fuel. We're going to get the tires. And then I think we can go to the end. We'll see if it goes green or not. I would have expected it would have, but some shenanigans happened in this race. Look out for the pit speed limit. All right. I'll hold it at 50. To stop again. Yeah, that's much easier to hold it at 50. Pit box team, 10. Than second gear, so. Just gotta remember to change Five. it to first. <laughs> Once I Three, uh, leave. Two, one. Right here. Hey, don't go too far back. Good stop. 89.90. We will share that. <laughs> Alright, coming around. Same thing as Gavin. Almost. Be mindful, you only have one set of targets. Almost daydreamed and missed uh, leaving the pits. We're good though. Oh wow, that's really close on fuel. Look at that. 44. Tires were even that time, 90 90. 90 90 90 90. He's got some good tire readings. 91 90. Lauren's on the right rear. That's really good. That's impressive. So I think we should be fine. It's close on fuel, but with these extra la pace laps we're doing right now, I think we'll be A-OK. -okay. If you're not taking the wave around for some reason, he might be multiple laps down and just needs to fix his stuff up or something. Yeah, he's had a rough one, it looks like, unfortunately. Try to save as much fuel as we can so we don't have to think about it. Two to green. Take a look at the uh, Drive Smart event going on. I wonder if I'm being drafted. It'd feel kind of bad if I wasn't there for it when I got drafted, but I don't think it will be. Come on by, guys. Four course yellow. Pits are open. Just taking in a listen there, see what's going on. So, 
saving some fuel. I think we're going to be good. I'm just going to go full speed, and by full speed, I mean save the tires the way I was. And uh, we'll, ke we'll keep an eye on the remaining fuel amounts. I don't think it'll be too hard to save fuel here. Lots of off throttle time. One to go. Nick okay, Carlton. Carlton. Get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. Very wide track here at Motegi, so it's kind of weird. Normally you would run the outside line whenever you're doing the restarts, but it's just so far out there, and I don't see anyone trying to jump us, so I've kind of just been running mid, middle high, higher middle on the restarts, and that's just been working perfectly well. Okay, don't have them muted. Down on the bottom, Chad. All right, get into the correct gear. Hold that 60 miles per hour. This guy's going to get away from us a little bit, but that's because it's taking the shorter way around. Off. Green, green, green. Alright, get through the gears pretty well. How are our tires feeling? Feeling cold, but fast. So we will go through one and two. Okay, I'm going for a pass already. Black flag uh, passing before the line for all these damaged cars. Some issues on the restart, it sounds like. He passed him before turn four there. Yeah. So, lemons behind is increasing. It's now 1.0 seconds. That last lap was at 36.4. Got some space again, which is fantastic. We can be nice to our tires, or at least. A little nicer. Got a second behind us. It is Gavin behind us though, and he's proven to be very fast. With his pull time, of course. We're quickest right now. That was a quickest lap, so probably don't even need to go as fast as I'm going now. That traffic coming up, but he's the guy that said he got the black flag, so that stinks for him. Not sure what happened. Should be good on fuel. Like I said, not going to worry about it too much. We'll keep an eye on it, though. I think we should be fine. a little bit too happy with the throttle. We're getting on the brakes hard enough. Gavin's yeah, hanging on. He's uh, pulled it in about a tenth as well. The captain, Lemons, behind is now. So fun being able to race here on um, a track that you really don't get to race too often. It's not going to be in any of the modern NASCAR games. We know that for sure. And very rarely on schedules, so it's always a treat to be able to run this. And we get another caution. This has been very surprising. Not long enough to take tires there. This guy's going to be right in front of us, so I don't need to be in too much of a hurry. I'm going to save that fuel. 
and uh, we're going to be staying out. Not a very long run there. Let the paid car by. All right. I'll restart it and try again, I guess. Not at all what I expected from Twin Ring, or rather, Mobility right Resort? Motegi? Is that what open. they call it now? <laughs> mobility Scooter Motegi? Something like that? Imagine racing mobility scooters around here. Like five miles an hour. Or you could like give them like mega engines go like 70 miles an hour <laughs> around here I'd pay to see that not much but I'd pay like 50 cents probably so we're definitely gonna be good on fuel now it's Chad's number isn't it you got some more f damage fixed. It's coming back around. They're helping him out. That's for sure. He's not looking too bad. I think his crew has done a good job fixing it up. I bet he can make up some spots. Got to. <laughs> Unfortunately, the uh, crew can't help too much out with the concussion. Of course, yellow. Pits are open. <laughs> Colt, you got to back, back the next back. gen into the wall to get a concussion, all right? Oh, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> We're under caution. Pits are closed. Not anymore. They get the new damage model, so uh, I think we're all safe. I bet they have some good hospitals in Japan. I'm never going to drink horse wine again. So we're going to get restarted and it's going to be 33 to go I believe. So essentially the first run. That means we got to be uh, gentle with the tires still. Still a good long way away. I'm going to keep braking hard into three, getting it turned. In fact, I wanted to do this from the start but I always forget. Move this back a little further. Get as much turn with the brakes as we can. Continue running low by the by the line. I don't think we really need to save too much more fuel, but you never know. We're gonna keep in fourth gear for now. One lap to green. Race cars in this lap. Let's see if we get as good of a jump. Gavin might be able to anticipate us a little bit better. We might not get that uh, one second lead by the end of the first restart lap. Unfortunately. We'll see what we can do. This track position's definitely been nice. Shift it into second.
run our weird middle high line. About to go green, stay focused. Post car is off. Green, 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 green. All right. Went a little dramatic with the <laughs> slam of the throttle there to shift, but I was really focused on doing it right. So, not quite as good of an advantage off the start as we've been enjoying. Gavin did seem to get up to speed pretty quick, so we've got half a second rather than a full second. Go ahead, John. Hey, Pat. like a pretty good run there out of two. I haven't noticed much in terms of over refresh here. I think if you just want to run the bottom. But I haven't really experimented either. I haven't really had a need to, so... Hey, maybe there's some grip up there I don't know about. Gavin's caught us a little bit. Try to get on the right rear a little bit more on exit, maybe. Get some more speed without sacrificing tire. Didn't really work in one and two there, unfortunately. Oh, Gavin's looming. Making me Not nervous good. back there. Not a good idea. Shane's back there too. We know he's fast. He fell off after that first run a little bit, but he's definitely got the short run pace and um, maybe could uh, could have or has already made the adjustments to keep it fast longer. So we have no walk in the park to the end of this thing. We've got some names behind us. Worth keeping an eye on for sure. That sounds mean, because it sounds like I'm implying there are names that I wouldn't. That's not what I mean. <laughs> Just saying those guys are real fast, and uh, I'd better be on my A game. So 27 to go now. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. Your lap time was at 55.7. That was not a very good corner. I think I maybe turned in a little bit early. Half a second back. I think as so long as I don't ruin my tires, I think it will be pretty hard to get a pass down for them. Ideally, don't want to give them the chance. And lacking in one and two again there. Come on, bye, Frank. 
Thanks, man. I was just gonna tell you I was happy back here, so that's kind of funny. Your lap time was 55.9. No, it's all good. I'll let you buy one here. That was a little bit better. That's what I've been trying to do more of. Overdrove that a little bit. Not quite as low on the track as I want to be. Another solid one and two. I can feel good about that. Let's hit the bottom here in three and four, though. That's better. Come on, that's what we need more of. Maybe even a little slower than last lap, but I think keeping it closer to the bottom there is going to be better for us. Starting to get that tighter feeling again. Hopefully, uh, I'm not roasting the tires. Oh, uh, Gavin's catching us, I think. He's back there. You guys are coming up on me, so I'm going to be unpitting. I think he needs to pit, but appreciate him for moving out of the way for the fast approaching pack. Losing pace. I hope Gavin doesn't have much better tires, because I feel like I'm losing pace here. Much better one and two than last lap. Half a second behind us, twenty to go. Good consistency. We're good on fuel, right? Yes. We're just fine with fuel. I figured we would be. We were stopping on the track. I looked at that instead of my line. I looked at the car below on the apron rather than the line I needed to hit, and then I hit the apron. The, uh, that's a thing that people say is true. You uh, end up driving where you're looking. Thought I nearly drove into the lap car. Had myself a terrible lap because of it. That lap time was 36.3. Well, let's not do that again. Oh, you're good, man. I just went up those stupid tight. Scavin's still holding on a half a second.
Oh, that's right. I forgot about kicking the throttle. I think that could really help us if I start doing that again. Better than last lap, at least. Right, the loose. Uh, I swear Gavin's doctor, <laughs> Diet Dr. Pepper car is getting larger in the rear view mirror. Making me nervous. Some more cars down low. I think I could benefit from keeping it even lower near the exit. There's a guy on the wall on the straightaway up ahead. It's the same guys before. Having a rough time, I think. That was an excellent exit to two. Hit that just right. Not very smooth there, though. Kind of got tight in the center. Okay, Colton. Ten minutes of fuel remaining. That was a uh, 36.5. That's good consistency, keep it up. Come up to 13 to go, we got plenty of fuel. Coming up a more lap traffic, this time it'll be John and the 86. Gavin put out a really cool video too, by the way, if you were not aware of it. It was, uh, well, hold on, I'm overdriving. Almost overdriving. Yes, overdriving. Oopsie. He put out a really cool video with the stats from the season. He went over, like, all the stats from every race, or not every race specifically, but the whole season stats, and I love looking at stats for racing or baseball. Dean, you can have this on the low side. I'm a big fan of all that. So that was a really cool video to watch. As looking at all the data set and everything. And then uh, he did awards based on a random stat. And uh, gave out, I think it was $25 in iRacing credits to the top three in the randomly chosen stat that he picked. And uh, I won't spoil any of the stats or anything, so if you haven't seen the video, you can go watch and uh, see all that, but I did, I was one of the three people in the stat that he picked, which was really cool, really generous of Gavin to do that and give out rewards, totally unexpected. Let's see. <laughs> What's that? You had no idea. I thought I said something about that. <laughs> I guess I didn't. Yeah, so I got a $25 uh, IRC right credit, on. which go. goes to, uh, will probably go to some of the new content, like Slinger, which is awesome. I know, it was very cool. And uh, I won't spoil what stat it was, or the other winners, or any of the other cool stats he, he took, uh, he kept track of the whole season. But a very fun watch. And he even did like a really cool intro video where he uh, mimicked like Fox broadcasts from the 2000s era that this is based off of, and that was really neat too. Last lap time was at 36 .6. I, I recommend checking that out, even if you weren't one of the people that participated in the season. Keep it up. It's got some interesting stuff in there. Bye bye. So while I was blabbing, 
Gavin caught back up to us a little bit. You'll probably get me anyways. Up. I'm just being a bit tight. Focus up, because we are reaching the end of this thing. Getting closer. I'm missing the bottom in 3 and 4 a little bit. And uh, tried to gas it up too much there and got loose. Horrible 3 and 4. I'm going to let Gavin catch me if I'm not careful. It's only point four behind. Bigger gap to third. That's a better run through three and four that time. Still kind of getting loose on exit though. And I couldn't get the car to turn that time. Kind of, when I'm going through one and two, I kind of wait until I feel the car catch a little bit. And then I know I can get on the throttle a little bit more and I can get turn out of it. But it was really not wanting to catch. The tires are definitely starting to feel it. This might be the longest run we've had so far, at least close to it. I just needed to hold on for about six more laps. Got Shane in third, Andrew in fourth. Hopefully Warren's still having a good race. He was having an excellent run. It's kind of rooting for him. Maybe he'll be the guy in fifth. Not sure. All right, Colton. We'll see That's where everyone finishes be about at the end of this thing. Five. Five to go. Left. That one's not making this easy on me, though. I will say that for certain. Anytime I make a minor mistake, and I go a little slower through a corner, I can see that he gains a little bit on us. He's not allowing for very much room for error. He's always been really good at uh, mobility resort, Motegi. As it is uh, famously known. Well, we're driving a little bit. Exactly what I said I didn't need to do. Drove one a little. Kind of works though. He's able to get it to stick. Hey, there's Warren in fourth actually right now. Awesome. His long runs paying off again. I told you, man. He's great on the long runs. Watch, he goes like three seconds a lap faster for the rest of the race and wins. <laughs> that would be crazy. I wouldn't even be upset. That would just be impressive. Coming up on Jarek right now in the 55. Haven't seen him too much this season. I think he was in a couple races maybe, but... Everybody's welcome, of course, in the exhibition race, or any other race for that matter. Two left to go. Two Always to go cool to get as big field as we can. As long as you're cool. <laughs> okay. So coming up to the white flag. We're You've getting got us. About five laps of fuel. Oh. One more lap to win. I'll probably give us the bottom here. Is that, who is that on the back of his car? Is that Dale Earnhardt? I don't know. I can't. I have to look at my apex now. At least the white line. And so long as I don't 
have a catastrophic failure here in three and four, I think we're looking pretty good. Take a little easier there, no reason not to. Woo! We have done it in Japan! Exhibition race win! Oh man, great job. I was trying so hard nice to catch you. Great, great <laughs> job. Today. You won. You did that win. Great well race. Done. Great win, Colton. Thanks, great race. Good race, Gavin. You definitely didn't make it easy on me. I, any small mistake, I could see that uh, gap getting smaller every time. So, good race, man, and thanks for an awesome season again. Yeah, man, thanks for joining me. I needed you to get really tight out of turn two or something one time, and I'd be there, but that was fun. <laughs> All right. Ryan, that was fun there, last couple laps. Man, that was fun as hell. Um, I just hurt my right front up, trying to not run over an exit. Let's see if we can do, like, the Japanese flag. One big, like, circle. Okay, the race is over. No, I can't. I got by you there, you? Listen, I'm not good at this, all right? I'm not very good at art. Right wing Colton. There's a lot of fun stream there at the end. I don't know what to do with these cars, but I'm loving it. This car's a lot better for me now. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Weirdest burnouts of all time. Yeah, Let's see what that looks like. Gap, Purple nice it's one, definitely not a circle, though. Yeah, man. Nice win, Colton. It's good in race with all of you guys. have to watch them. Don't hit so often. Thanks, Todd. Good win, Colton, and thanks, Gavin. All right. Thank you, Japan. <laughs> that was uh, that was a lot of fun. Twin Ring is a fantastic track. I'm such a big fan. Oh, we can't even see the marks on the track. What you talking about? Where's? Did I not even make any marks? Gotta be joshing me. I wonder what my tires were. That's not gonna be accurate. I kind of wish I hadn't done a burnout now. I'm just very curious how that looked, but. <laughs> hey, our right front was still 67, 71. Definitely not Warren's level of tire saving, but I think we did pretty good on the right front. So, oops. So, I failed art. <laughs> Just like how I used to get, uh, I got a C in school. When I was in high school, we had an art class. And I got a C once because the teacher said I wasn't trying. And uh, I was trying. <laughs> I was definitely trying. So that gives you an idea of uh, how my art skills kind of are. But uh, what are we talking about? Art. All the times I got a spray wall, race. I got a zero X for every single one. Hold on a second. I think I might be able to look. Hold on. Oh my god, Jesus. Uh from the chopper can. I can see the I see see the markings now. Please? Please. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Thanks for the for putting this up, Gavin. No, that's more of an M. I kinda didn't get the yeah, markings to show up really on the bottom Thanks side of it. Who joined for the first time too. That was a good race to end on, I think. Or I made a run. butt. To your first race, I mean. Oh wait, no. I made a W for a win. That's totally what I was going for. Forget all that other stuff I said. I was going for the W for win. Yeah. I definitely okay, anyway. look forward to the video tomorrow. No one cares about what I was doing there. Let's watch the incidents. And uh, call that a success. Good race, everybody. Thanks again, Gavin. Thank you, Evan. Hello. I wanted to say happy holidays to him too. And then he left. Oh, well. this is a little bit loud. Do that a little bit. And the incidents. So lap three gets in a little hard. Maybe gets on the brakes a little bit too much. It just kind of pitches sideways on him. Gets below the apron though, no caution. Doesn't even look like he got too much damage there, so hopefully he was able to get back into it after the yellows did come out. Uh, 16 drives all the way, or drifts up all the way up the track there. That's uh, kind of what we were talking about, huge braking zone into three. You're going real fast once you get there, so. Uh... 
you really got to back it down. And it looks like he was trying to get it slowed, but just not able to do it. And drifts up into, I think that's Dan. Yes. Unfortunately, that sends him way back. Not a yellow, though. It was a great save. Fantastic save, even. 66 kind of misses the turn in, I think. Maybe it was just trying to get out of the way for the lead lap, guys. I don't think there's much grip up there. It's because no one ever drives up there, so I think there's, like, negative grip. It might as well be banked the other way. So that's probably why it didn't turn much for him. Oh, my goodness. What happened there? Probably broke loose. Yeah, broke loose, and unfortunately there was a Chad there. And, uh, hey, that still says Twin Ring Motegi. What is this, I racing? Your game's broken. Okay, <laughs> Chad gets into that. Maybe it still says Twin Ring there in real life, I don't actually know. But that will be your first caution, I believe. We didn't get any green flag pit stops, unfortunately. That could have been fun, but... That's all right. We had plenty during the season. Yeah. Nate switches lanes right in front of Ian. Hmm. I wish uh I wish I had called out where the pace car was earlier in the race to help out, because maybe this could have been prevented, because I feel like everybody's kind of coming around the corner here. And then realizing the pace car's right over here. So you can see, coming around. He's still kind of gassing it up right here. And then nearly runs into the back of Billy. And uh, you can see Ian's coming along. Same story, I'm sure he probably didn't see it until real late. Tenting his rear window on lap 88? What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, I guess we'll see what that is. <laughs> Tenting my... <laughs> Wait, what? Tenting my window. Yeah, I don't see anything. Uh, lap 88, he says. wonder if it's a weird lighting glitch that happened. Huh. Well, we'll see that later, I assume. Let's continue uh, back where we were with the incidents. So we were right about here. Back to it. Control numpad three. All right, this might have been the incident they were talking about blocking. I want to angle this a little bit better again. There we go. That's where I kind of want it. Looks like everyone's kind of a little bit too far up. Stays that way to the end. Right? Yeah, that might have been a graphical issue that he had or something unique to him. But, I don't know, man. I think uh, the, the bottom lane's right here. He kind of just runs over the 23, I think. I don't think that's blocking. Because you see the, the 20 goes a little too hard in, and he's drifting up the track. The uh, 23 goes in a little hard. He ends up in the middle. 
And the 51's got a whole lane down here he could be. And uh, I don't know if Ronald's trying to block there. Maybe there was some previous instances where he did do that. But at least where I'm seeing here, I don't see blocking. I see uh, like the 51 just doesn't get low enough if he wants to try to go around him. So he kind of hits the left side rear. And sends them around. I would call that on the 51, personally. But I'm not the one and only authority on these things, so don't get to don't get the impression that's not what I think at all. Moving on, nothing there. Map 63. Ooh, ouch! That's that one hurts. That's on the driver's side door. I think. Uh, Christopher just drives in a little hard. He doesn't quite get to the bottom. John cuts it a little, uh, pretty, pretty close to, but I think uh, at the moment of contact, he's probably got to be a little bit lower. These are weird corners here at uh, Mobility Resort Botegi, so kind of, kind of tough to get it right. But I think maybe he was going for the undercut. Maybe he misjudged it potentially, and uh, 27 maybe a little high up the track. Fortunately, big, big hit for for those guys. And that was your caution there, about two thirds of the way through the race. A little bit of wall hit there. Probably getting some tires getting worn out potentially here. This is going to be a wall hit though. Not quite sticking for Jeremy. He gets it pretty solid. And then uh, I think that's it. I think we're just celebrating. And I could find out who that is. I don't know who that... I thought that was Dale Earnhardt. That's definitely not Dale Earnhardt. Is that Tom Hanks? Who is that? I can't tell, it's kind of pixely. <laughs> it's got a Gavin Rapchan car though. Good taste. <laughs> it's on the front. Sorry, I'm just checking out Jarek's paint scheme at this point. Oh my god, what did I do to this camera? That is a cat. <laughs> Solid paint scheme. Alright, so that will do it for this one. Let me get to a reasonable camera, see if something to look at. And uh, we'll look at the results page, see who got fastest laps and all that good stuff. Oops, putting the wrong thing. There, we are celebrating weekly because I'm terrible with burnouts. All right, here we are. We had four cautions, a bit surprisingly. Fastest lap time goes to Jeremy. About a tenth faster than ours, so he had the short run speed down. Lake Caution would have been great for him, I bet. And uh, we'll get 74 laps led after our fourth place starting spot. And a pretty big field. Great to see lots of people here for our exhibition race. And uh, I'm really very much looking forward to the next season, whatever that might bring. So thank you for watching that one. We get the win as a nice little cap off to the season. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Have a good one.